Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about self-love and what self-love really means and how we can use and tap into that self-love to create the life that we truly deserve. So self-love is kind of this term or this idea that's been thrown around a lot, especially in the last probably 10 years or so. And it has really been diluted, people tell you, you need to love yourself more, you need to take care of yourself, or you need to take time for yourself, you need to pamper yourself. We all have this image of what that looks like. And it usually means that we are taking the time to exercise more, or we're taking the time to eat a healthier diet, or we're taking the time to go get a massage, or go get a manicure, pedicure if you're a woman, uh, or a man, treat ourselves to a nice dinner, or whatever it is. But lots of times, this concept of self-love is directly connected to doing something uh, on this physical plane, like an action, uh, going to buy some nice clothes for yourself, or again, the example of going to get a manicure pedicure or getting a massage or whatever. So that's all great. I mean, taking the time to eat uh, healthier or to work out or taking acting classes if that's what you want or taking cooking classes, whatever. That is all, again, under the umbrella of self-love. But that by itself is not nearly enough, and that just barely scratches the surface. The problem with doing these things of buying new clothes, or taking a class, or hanging out with your friends more, or whatever it is that people do to give themselves love, it is all derived and generated from something that is outside of us. So it's something that we have to continuously do in order to make ourselves feel fulfilled or make us feel like we are treating ourselves the right way. So going outside ourselves in order to fill ourselves up with that perceived worthiness or love is not really tapping into the truth of what self-love really is about. Because when we rely on these things outside of ourselves, then basically we're saying that we need to do those things in order to feel love and feel appreciation for ourselves. When you see that for what it is, you then realize that, wow, I am depending on these things outside of myself in order to make myself feel better. In order to really, really tap into self-love and to love ourselves, we have to do two things. And the first thing is, we have to realize that love is not outside of ourselves, that love comes from within. Actually, we are love. Love is the primordial energy of the universe and it's what is at the basis of everything. Everything is tied together from love. So that means that when we clear away all of the man-made, mind-made stuff that we've been passed on by all the generations before us, when we rid ourselves of that, beneath all of that is love. It is the love that we are. So there's actually no real reason to love yourself. You just have to realize that you are love. You just have to realize the love that is already you the love that is already within. The way to really realize that we are love is to understand that we are the creator of our experience and that we are the creators of our reality. And when we realize that we have control over everything that happens to us, all the situations, circumstances, the relationships, all the things that happen to us, we have control over that, then we truly come to this place of divine grace because we no longer feel 
like we're victims. We no longer feel fear from other people that somebody is going to take what's mine or somebody is going to take my job or somebody is better than me because they have more money or whatever it is. We no longer come from that place because we realize that we are truly free. We're truly free to experience whatever it is that we desire to experience. As long as it comes from that place of love and alignment, then those things come to us easily. And the way we align with the universe, which is divine love at the base of it, then we are able to create all those beautiful things that we desire truly from our heart. When we come to the realization that we are love, then we can truly live from that space of just being in love with everything. When we realize and truly understand and know that we are the creators of our own reality, there is an enormous feeling of grace and divine love. Because when we come to that realization, we really feel the love from the universe and we feel the support from the universe. We feel the support from everything and everyone around us because everything and everyone around us is the universe. And so when we align ourselves with love, then we align ourselves with the love from the universe as well, which comes in the form of pleasant experiences, people, uh, things and situations that will make us feel even more joy and love and gratitude. So self-love really is taking the time to nurture that love that is within us all and to really take the time to connect to that love, to take the time to meditate so that we can clear ourselves, clear our minds of all of the bullshit that has been placed in there. All of the fear that's been passed down to us through generations, through our teachers and our parents and our friends, our peers, movies, music, commercials, pretty much everything that we've been blasted with our entire lives comes from that uncentered, unbalanced place of fear, which is the exact opposite of love. Because when we're fearful, we're on the defensive. We're out for just ourselves. We're out to protect ourselves, to make sure nothing happens to us. But we don't care about anybody else because everybody else is a threat to us. And so that fear really takes us out of that self-love. So in order to really embrace that love that we are, we have to practice letting go all of the fears that we have of other people because remember when you are in fear of something or if you're worried about something or if you're frustrated about something that means you are focused on something that you don't want to happen and that's why you're feeling those emotions so it's really important to develop a habit of meditation a, a habit of being able to clear out your mind of all of this junk so that you can come into contact with who you really are which is divine love and when we come into contact with the divine love and when we start to nurture that space then we start to become more and more like it we start to remember more and more our true nature which is that of a little baby that's just come into this world who is just happy to be here to be alive to have a body, to crawl around, to explore, to see things. They never want anything except to be fed, right? They don't, they don't need fancy cars. They don't need a house to make them happy. They don't care if they're fat. They don't care if they're ugly. Ooh, I just called the baby ugly. No, I mean, they don't care what they look like and they're just happy to be. And you'll see most babies, before they've been uh, trained by adults to know and recognize what's mine and what's yours and this is mine, you'll see they'll pick up every single object and they'll try to give it to you because 
<laughs> it just makes them happy. You can see it. They pick up an object, they, they take their toy, and they hand it to you, and they're smiling. And they do that until parents start teaching them, oh, this is yours and not anybody else's, and so they start learning these bad habits. And that's when it even starts, you know, at, from, from birth, pretty much, we are given these set of societal standards and rules to live by that are really of detriment to ourselves and our spiritual journey and our ability to create all the things that we want. It's kind of this prison that's been placed over our heads, this mental prison that we're all needing and learning to break out of. So <clears throat> when we are able to align with this love that's within us, then we are able to channel that love and channel that love to others. And that's when the universe really steps in because the universe is made of love. And so the universe wants to provide you everything that you need when you are in alignment with love. Because when you are in alignment with love, you're of benefit to yourself and to everyone else around you. And so that is the perfect channel for the universe to work through. Uh, no matter what you're doing, whatever profession you're in, music, uh, accountant, uh, a law or anything, if you have that space of love nurtured inside you, which is the true meaning of self-love, then you become this altruistic being that wants to help others and that's what the universe wants and that's why the universe will choose to send all of the blessings that should be brought into this world through you and people like you. The second way to really truly love yourself is to also love other people. People might say, well how can I love somebody that broke my heart. How can I love somebody who stole all my stuff from my house? How can I love them? So there's a fine line between loving someone and being taken advantage of. So for example, you have a relationship and someone mistreats you and you guys break up and now you kind of hate this person. But you have to realize that when you hate this person and every time you think of this person it makes you feel this anger, this feels this, this frustration, feel this unworthiness or whatever it is that you feel inside when you think about this person, who is actually feeling those feelings? Whoever is thinking those thoughts is the one experiencing those feelings, those feelings that feel really ugly. Those feelings are the opposite of love. And if we are thinking those thoughts and feeling those feelings, then we, in essence, are not truly loving ourselves because we are staying stuck in this, these thoughts of unpleasant things and pain and suffering. And it starts to become our identities. And if it's not taken care of, then it starts to take over our lives and become our reality. And so all the other relationships that we're going to attract to us are all going to end up making us feel like that if we keep focusing on those things. So that is not self-empowerment. That is not self-love. So the proper way to go about it is to bless the situation, to bless the other person, to bless the other person and be grateful for the person. And you say, how can I be grateful for this person? Well, number one, you can be grateful for this person for coming into your life and reflecting back to you what you have been putting out to the universe. And if you check in with yourself and check in with how you've been feeling about whatever, whatever uh, situation that you're in that's not going your way, you'll realize that I have been feeling negative feelings about the situation and that's why this situation manifested. So if you're aware enough and you're conscious enough, you can see the situation for what it is, which is a lesson to teach you, to show you that you're creating your own reality through your thoughts and your feelings. And when you see that, you're able to then bless the situation and say, okay, 
this person is not responsible for my suffering. I am the one that's responsible for my suffering because I'm the one that's responsible for my vibration. I'm the one that's responsible for my thoughts and my feelings. So I'm going to take control of my own thoughts and feelings and hone my focus so well so that all that I focus on is and are the things that I want to focus on. And by blessing that situation and forgiving the person, doesn't mean you have to go back and be with them, it doesn't mean you have to call them, it doesn't mean you have to be their friend. Just bless the situation and forgive them, forgive yourself, send them love. I mean, you might not be able to do this right away, but over time, you may be able to wish them the best. You can practice and get yourself into a place where you can actually send them your best wishes, which is in essence sending them love. And when you send them good wishes and you send them uh, all the things that you want for yourself, then you're no longer feeling those feelings of hate. You're no longer feeling those feelings of anger or lack or frustration. And so you're actually feeling the feeling of love when you send other people love. Because just like when you're sending people hate and anger and stuff, you're the one that's feeling those feelings. So when you send people love and when you're grateful for other people, um, you are also the one that benefits from that. And so when you realize that everything outside of you, all these people are just a reflection of you, that they are in essence you, and that when you love them, you are inherently loving yourself, then you will realize how important it is to truly wish the best for other people, no matter what's happened, and give gratitude for all the situations and experiences that you've gone through and realizing that I did that. That was because of my focus that that happened. And once you realize that, you free yourself from being a victim from other people and you enable yourself to then not blame other people for your experiences, your bad experiences. And when you don't blame other people and you let them off the hook, then you are much more likely to be able to be grateful for that situation or to even wish them well. Now, again, it doesn't mean that you just lay down for anybody to walk all over you. Um, if somebody, for example, steals your car or something, let's say you attract that situation into your life, someone steals your car, um, you can even wish them well while you call the cops. You can wish that they change, you can hope that they change, you can see that something inside them is misaligned, unbalanced, and you can really feel that compassion for them because you know that you're the creator of your own reality and this person obviously feels lack in some way and doesn't know his true power or her true power um, so that they need to go out and take other people's stuff to fulfill themselves when they can actually just tap into their true selves and create whatever whatever abundance that they want to create. You can call the cops, you can go to court and press charges without feeling the hate and the negative energy and the, the anger and uh, the resentment and all that stuff. And you can actually practice yourself into a place where you can forgive them and hope that they change and learn from the lesson, even if that means that they have to go through un some unpleasant experiences, um, you don't have to wish them bad things, just send them your best wishes. By doing that, you will start to detach yourself emotionally from these things that have gone wrong for you. Um, and these people who have wronged you, you can release all of that and you can let them all off the hook for doing this stuff for you because you realize that you've done this to yourself. And when you do that 
and you let them go, you bless them, you're grateful for the lesson, then you come into alignment with your self, which is divine love, and you can then start changing the external world into something that is much, much, much more enjoyable, pleasurable, and abundant. To really love yourself is to actually be that love, to always feel that love inside of yourselves so that you always feel good. That is true self-love. And the only way to start that journey is to meditate daily. I do have a meditation video and I think it's up this way. Do check that out if you need some guidance on how to meditate. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe as well if you'd like to see more videos. I am dedicating myself to making more videos more frequently. I have a lot of information I'd like to get out to you guys, experiences and things that I have come into the know about. And um, I'd like to help all of you achieve the success, the health, and the abundance that you all deserve, that we all deserve, because we are all divine beings and we are deserving of everything that we truly desire. So yes, if you haven't subscribed yet and you wanna see more videos, do subscribe, hit that bell button next to the subscribe button so that you are notified when new videos are coming out. And um, if you really like this video, share it. And as always, thank you for watching and Remember that you are the change. Yes, you.